We've had a lot of time on the lanes. Uh, we started with the men's team back in, or back in August and September. Um, they're on the lanes three days a week, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. And then the women's team started their official practice in October for NCAA. And every time they're on the lanes, they have different practices, whether it is a structured practice, spare shooting, and now we're doing a fun competition where they're getting to bowl against me. And they love that part. Um, it has been a learning curve getting everyone together on the same in the same space and as a whole we are progressing nicely we have really worked hard to get where we're at at this point in time the men's side our tournaments are a lot different every week they bowl typically six games of traditional team games and then on sunday they get uh, baker games and it's either four baker games in a group or it's five baker games and then they do a cut, a cut to the top eight teams and then they do match play to determine who the winner is on the men on the women's side um, we do three days of competition and then the first day is friday's baker competitions we bowl five baker games in a match and then total pinfall determines the winner of the match on saturdays we do uh, five traditional games where every lady on the team bowls one game and it is total pinfall as well to determine who the winner is and then the two days we have from friday and saturday get combined and it seeds us into this uh, match play bracket where we if whoever we bowl against in the first match we move up in the bracket and we continue moving up until we finish the tournament or we, or we move down if we lose the match baker game is where you bowl one game and each player on the team of the five-man roster bowls two frames so uh, the first player on the team for the roster will bowl the first first frame and the sixth frame and then the second player will do the second frame and the seventh frame and so on until we finish with the anchor and the anchor bowls the fifth frame and the tenth frame. On the men's side we are traveling mostly throughout the Midwest. We did have a trip to Wichita, Kansas, an eight-hour drive there and back. It was an adventure to say the least and uh, depending on how we finish in our season, our postseason play, sectionals go to four different cities so depending on where we get seated determines upon where where we go the furthest away we could potentially get seated is to New Jersey wow. yeah so we could end up having a uh, three-day two-day or two to three-day trip going to New Jersey for our sectional tournament on the women's side uh, with us being NCAA not as many tournaments in the Midwest so we're traveling to a lot of uh, bigger cities the furthest we will go is where we went this last weekend in Houston Texas uh, we'll go to Jonesboro Arkansas uh, Smyrna Tennessee which Nashville area we'll have a couple of uh, tournaments in Wisconsin and then uh, one in Illinois and one in Missouri Hey, our, our assistant coach is Dan Peacock. Um, he coached high school bowling in Illinois, and uh, we brought him on board to work with the men's team and to travel with the men's team when I need to be with the women's team. He comes to practices a couple of times during the week, and then he will be there to support me if I'm with the men's team as a as a an, another pair of eyes, if you will. Um, he is originally from Illinois, and he's moved to many different places, and now he's settled right here in Iowa to help me out with the teams. I want someone to come to our school with the, the ability to be a team player. The toughest part of our sport is we have the individual aspect of bowling and then we have the team aspect of bowling. And if you grew up as a youth bowler, an individual coming on board to being a part of a team can be tricky. And so I want to have someone who is adaptable to understanding what team chemistry is all about and team communication. The other thing I want to look for is someone who's got passion and drive. I think in our sport, we want people on our teams who believe in it as much as I do. I have such great passion for what I do for a living. I love everything about what bowling has provided to me. And so to be able to have a youth bowler who has the same spirit with it and brings it to UIU will create such an amazing chemistry and dynamic to what we already have on the team. And then someone who believes in education. Um, I'm, I am a coach where education comes first, athlete comes second. And I need you to be able to focus on your grades so when you're done with your, your career, career here at UIU on the lanes, then you'll be able to further your, your career in the real world setting. So those are the things I look for. When I was interviewed here, I was coming from a big city in Chicago, driving through the back country, if you will, to here. and. I was a little skeptical. I, I, I've told this to everybody. 
The minute I got on campus and met everybody, I felt like it was home. It's a family here. I've, I've, I've gone to undergraduate school and I've gone to grad school and I've been in big campuses and small campuses. And when you walk on campus and people already know who you are and you hadn't even started your job yet, shows how much the community here cares about who we have here. Um, I love how they provide opportunities for the students to go out and do different activities, like go to Walmart. Or uh, some of the team went to this haunted Halloween roller coaster thing in Minnesota. Um, and of course, with our schedule right now, they're not having the time to do it, but when they are free, this campus provides all these opportunities for them to go out and enjoy what it's like to be on a college campus but in a small town type of atmosphere so this is this is why I love UIU